Many of you know my house and lawn from my videos and I've spent hours on this place to make it look as nice as it did. Now after doing all that work I decided to finally sell my house and leave Massachusetts. Right now the housing market is insane and in Massachusetts you pretty much can't get anything. My house sold in less than one day and I got more than my asking price. My family and I decided to take that money, go to the state of New Hampshire and get a lot more for your money. Here I've got almost 60 acres of land and I finally got an outbuilding that I always wanted. And you might be thinking this sounds like paradise but unfortunately it's not. The house is 30 years old and it has a ton of problems but I'm a DIYer, I don't mind doing projects and hopefully in the future I can share those things with you because these are the type of things that are going to happen at any house. But the first nasty surprise was the lawn. The previous owners didn't even mow it once in a year. And this is the end result, a lawn that's 24 inches tall. Now you might think this looks pretty, but I've got kids, they want to play in the grass. So I'm going to start by just seeing if I can cut this down. Now in older videos you've seen my walker mower, but that's way too fine of a mower for something like this. And also I've got some areas that I need to mow that go down to a small pond. This Kubota Garden tractor has all-wheel drive and it's super heavy duty. Now because of the amount of dust, I'm going to be wearing a mask as well as hearing protection. And you also notice this thing has a bagger. There's no way I'm going to bag this much grass. This is where using side discharge on a mower is going to reign supreme. When you're cutting down grass this tall, you want to just break it apart as best you can. And my plan was to shoot it out the side of the mower, then kind of keep orbiting the lawn in a circle and shoot it out further and further until the clippings eventually ended up in the woods. Now as I take this turn, you can see that view of the mountain. This was a huge part of what I really liked about this house. And this is a great shot of the before and after. You've got a 24 inch lawn on the right and the finished lawn on the left. Now the maximum cutting height of this tractor is 4 inches. And normally when you're cutting your lawn, you don't want to take more than a third of the grass blade off at a time. But here, I didn't have a choice. With my family showing up in just a week, I wanted to get this place looking as good as possible. And I know you eagle eyes out there are going to see all that clover and say, man, you're getting rid of all the environment for the birds and the bees, but you don't have to worry. I'm only going to be mowing about an acre of this grass, and most of what you see in the distance is going to be left natural. There are two types of lawn mowers. You can get finished mowers like this one, and you can get rough mowers. Those are going to be for use in places like fields and on a farm, where the final finish of the lawn doesn't really matter. But oftentimes you're going to be in a situation like I am here. You're going to have a lawn that's much taller and you're certainly not going to go out and buy a special mower for a job you might just do once or twice. But what worked for me here was going over the area several times and that allowed me to grind up that grass and the end result was really good. Now with the lawn down to a manageable height, I can start dealing with the edging and the beds. These things have not been touched for ages and they definitely need some cleanup. But the biggest problem here is the weeds. The lawn is loaded with clover, buckhorn, plantain, dandelion, crabgrass, and a lot more. But I'm going to renovate this lawn in place. I'm not going to tear anything out. And this makes it a lot easier if you're doing your own renovation. And the house itself also needs a ton of work, electrical, plumbing, and pretty much you name it. I'll be sharing those videos in the future so that you can see exactly how I get those jobs done and maybe you can apply them to something you're doing in your own house. I'm also in the market right now looking for a tractor. This place is definitely going to need it. The driveway is long. I plan to do my own snow removal and hopefully do a little bit of farming here as well, growing things like Christmas trees or other plants that are good for the area and maybe something that I could use in the future. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.